guys, it's a nice sunny day today, so I've decided I'm gonna get cracking on the bark. Trevor really wanted to help, but he's hurt his leg at the weekend while he was running, so um, rather than wait for him to be better, he just needs to rest it up. I thought I couldn't pass up this really nice day, I'm gonna do it myself. So that's the plan. It is a little bit windy, but that's just gonna make it cooler, I think. So those white bags there are the bark, and then I need to clear out this area between the shed and the greenhouse and um, put a membrane down and then get the wood chip on top of it. I was hoping that those five bags of bark would be enough to do half, which they weren't really. They've maybe done a third and um, I need to get some more membrane for the part closest to the greenhouse, but that, that's okay. I've put the wood back on top of it to now, for now, so hopefully it won't um, blow away. But it didn't take too long to do, so um, I just got to order some more of the bark. I am quite flushed nice little workout this afternoon. I think I'm going to um, water the greenhouse now and then head home. It's a very wet day today so I've had a bit of a potting on session. This is the sweet corn and then at the back here I've got um, courgettes. There's two types of courgettes. There's um, the F1 Defender and then the other one's just called zucchini. These are the globe artichoke. I didn't grow these from seed. These are the ones I got from the show. Um, the leaves that were on them seem to have like gone yellow and disappeared but the rest of it they seem to be growing up quite nicely so I think they're okay and then there's some um, cucumber there we've got um, seven seven cucumber then that's the new Covent Garden soup seeds nothing's grown with that yet there's um one tomato this is the only tomato and this is the one that I also got given at the show um, I'm hoping to put that into the grow bags and then these little ones, they're um, cauliflower. They might not need potting up just yet. They might be a little bit too small, but I was running out of space and only three of them had germinated, so I thought I'd get them out of their um, pots. <laughs> Finally, in this egg box, some of the chilies are starting to germinate. They're very, very small. I'm filming on my phone today because um, I hadn't planned on on filming anything I was just going to do some weeding but the rain just hasn't stopped and then I've got three beans but I'm actually going to put the rest of the beans straight into the ground and there's five peas that one hasn't done anything yet the lettuce is looking good I'm actually going to do another sowing of lettuce because I want to have the lettuce like continually and then I potted up the chilli. So these are the mint and the coriander that I also got from the Urban Herb guy at the show. They were just looking a bit droopy inside and they were a little bit dry so I thought I'd leave them out in the rain. Um, I'm going to bring them in tonight but eventually I do want to, to have them outside all of the time. The rest of the tomatoes, they either didn't come through at all, like none of these ones came through. And um, some of these did come through a little bit but then they've died. I don't know what I did to them if I overwatered them and um, they looked really dry so I gave them some water but I think they were actually probably already dead when they looked dry so I'm, I don't know they didn't do very much when they did come through and then in this tray at the back I have had these up on the top I've just tucked them under here for now um, because they don't seem to be doing anything and I'm, I'm just about giving up on them really these are the uh, Rosso chilies, Rosso peppers like the sweet pointed peppers they are um, nothing nothing happening with them and then at the very back those tiny two in there are celeriac so I just about given up on these trays and I thought I would stick them under here to see if they did anything and it turns out there's some coming through on there these are the ramrod spring onion but I think they're going to be better if I just plant them straight into the ground I've still got seeds of those left I just don't think that the cardboard containers were that good and I won't use them again um, so they're just under there for now to see if anything happens but I'm probably going to get rid of them I think. It's been quite a wet week but I did manage to get along the raspberries um, dug out. There's still a lot of bindweed quite deep in there but for now I do feel like we're slowly making progress. Well it's another wet day today so I think I'm going to be in the greenhouse. 